welcome to The Truth About Science, with your host, John Gatos. Hi, and welcome to The Truth About Science. In this series, I intend to show the difference between what is true science and what is false science. Just what is science anyway? Well, science is the exploration of the universe, from the smallest things to the largest things, and everything in between, from life to physics, what things are made of, how they work, light, sound, space, dimension. What science is not is a platform for people to express their theories as fact. And this is what has happened in the scientific community for a long time. Lately, there's been a trend, however, to start asking some critical questions about what they have been presenting as fact, and many scientists are now turning to a new light. So, what is a theory? Well, a theory is an idea presented that is to be scrutinized and checked and tested to find out if it is true or not. There are some theories that have been presented as fact for such a long time that people have been indoctrinated into a way of thinking that will not release them to think more clearly on what things really are. Some theories have actually been proven to be wrong by scientific fact. And that's what I intend to expose in this series. Let's take a look at a few examples of fraudulent science. Let's take a close look at this picture depicting the evolution from a lizard to a bird. Let's start with the bottom picture of the lizard. Here's this happy lizard walking around. Now you can see his right hind leg sticking beyond his body there. Now let's look up at the next picture, and if you look very closely, there's a fog growing around the tip of his tail and some slight mutation going on. Third picture up, we can see that the fog in his tail is growing a little darker now, and something's happening with his legs and his face is changing. One more picture up, this fog is growing ever more intense. Now, we can see that what's happening, if you take a quick scan of all the pictures, I want you to notice the tail is filling in from nowhere, and the face is growing a beak and a crest until it turns into a bird head. Now, here's a few strange things about this that just seem to go by. Oh, it looks so easy. It looks like it really is logical. But notice at the bottom that the left two legs of the lizard become the two legs of the bird. The right hind leg becomes the right wing, and the left wing just springs out of nowhere. So this illustration is more like an Escher drawing. There's nothing scientific about this at all. It's merely trickery. At the top of this picture are the drawings that Heckel made of the embryos of fish, salamander, turtle, chicken, rabbit, and human. The bottom row are actual photographs of fish, salamander, turtle, chicken, rabbit, and human embryos. And so you can see that these drawings are fraudulently made to make it look like life starts out all the same. Heckel's intention was to try to show a connection between all life in embryonic state. These pictures were presented as fact, and you can still find them in some of the university textbooks, even though Heckel was proven to be a fraud. Here's a drawing of Lucy. These are all the bones they found. They filled in the rest, and they made up what they could to make it look like it was part human. Notice that most of the skull is missing. The knee and ankle bones are missing, and this is essential for how the animal will stand. Some of these bones came from 200 feet in the ground from miles away to try to put together this skeleton. What eventually was found about this collection of bones is that they belonged to a chimpanzee. Here's an example of circular reasoning. They will tell you that this fossil is from this layer and so it's this age, but then they will tell you that this layer is this age because of this fossil. The strange thing about layering is that these layers are all clean that there is sudden change from one material to the next, and there is no weathering in any of the layer surfaces except for the very top one. This can only happen as the result of flooding, where materials will settle most dense material first, followed by the next and the next and the next. Many times, the scientific community has presented false information to try to push their theories. Sometimes, when an archaeologist would be running out of time and would lose his next grant money if he didn't come up with something, they would create false evidence. Piltdown Man was a hoax. 
The skull of a human man was fitted with an ape jawbone. It was filed down so that they would fit properly, and then it was treated with acid to give them the appearance of age, and they were buried and rediscovered and presented to the world as Piltdown Man. Nebraska Man was a complete fabrication. They found a tooth, and they thought it was from some evolutionary step to man, but it turned out to be the tooth of a pig. Now, one particular missing link was built upon a bone that they found that they thought was the skull cap of a man, but it turned out to be the kneecap of an elephant. So many times, archaeologists will desperately fabricate anything to support their theories. So we see that man has become arrogant in his scientific understanding to think that he can explain everything in physicality in the physical world of science, ignoring obvious design that could not happen by mistake. They call it research for a reason. They search, they find out they're wrong, and they research. There are things we will never know. There are things that science cannot explain. There are things that science refuses to acknowledge. Luckily, there's a growing community of scientists who understand these principles and present actual facts and test their theories until they are either proven wrong or proven to be true. So I hope this has been informative and that it has given you some new insight or at least an inquisitive mind that will question the things that you were told before you believe them. I'll be touching on this topic again throughout this series and many other topics. And please look for new episodes as we explore the truth about science.